Hi Pisces, welcome to the very first love reading for your sign on my channel for the month of January uh, 2019. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, for subscribing especially, so that we can get this word out to anyone who needs to hear it. I appreciate you guys. So on my channel, thus far we've been doing five card spreads for... Um, just for you and your sign, but we're adding an additional five so we can look into the energy of the person you are connecting with. Sometimes the energy does flip flop. So if you identify more with the second row, go ahead and take that. Um, yeah, it's all highly individualistic. So this message will not resonate with everyone. Um, so make sure that you reach out to me for a personal reading if you find that that is the case for you. Also, I'm still at my parents' house, so the setup is a little weird. You can see my reflection right here, <laughs> but um, we'll work on that, okay? Just wanted to make sure I got this out to you in a timely fashion. So, let's get started. First, we have the death card. <clears throat> so, in your relationships, there's been a lot of endings, perhaps breakups, divorces, that sort of thing, and inherently a lot of new beginnings within the relationship or with new individuals. You're beginning to enter into new cycles with your current partner or someone that you are now moving away from. Definitely rebirth, transformation, endings, and beginnings here in terms of love and the connection that you share. Your person is feeling this pretty heavily too, having to, or having had to walk away from, um, from something that was meaningful to them. Perhaps this is representing the end of a relationship or moving, moving to a different place physically or moving on from old patterns. But in any case, both of you are embracing or getting rid of the old and embracing the new um, in the month of January in relation to love and deep connection. The challenge for you within this relationship is the Queen of Pentacles, is making sure that you are caring for yourself as much as you are caring for others. So Pisces, you all have big hearts and whether or not you like to display that, it is absolutely true. Oftentimes you take your partner's feelings, <clears throat> excuse me, more into consideration than you do your own. So the challenge this month is going to be self-care and making sure that you are choosing people and situations that edify you at the same time, not at the expense of yourself, right? Taking care of others, but not at the expense of yourself. Doing the right thing for yourself, making the right moves, ending the appropriate cycles and relationships so that you can put yourself at the forefront. Next we have the seven of swords. So the person that you are connecting with or experiencing endings and new beginnings with, um, their challenge this month is the past, is getting over the past, is examining the past, and perhaps it's even um, being truthful toward you. This individual here is getting away with something. So hmm, for, okay, sorry, I'm getting my thoughts together. With this being the challenge within your relationship, there's something that has happened in the past that is causing a sort of rift. And I think this other person is responsible for it. Perhaps they have taken advantage of you in some way or misled you or misguided you. So again, this is why the Queen of Pentacles energy is going to be so important to try and embody this month because there's some, some healing that needs to happen due to the actions that this person has taken in the past. Okay, this is... So it's really interesting. Let's keep building the story so I can give you the proper guidance. 
energy coming at the relationship, we have the Six of Pentacles here. Unexpectedly, this individual might decide to turn this around, might try to make amends with you and to give you what you actually deserve versus shortchanging you here. Um, this could also, the relationship could be impacted by um, financial situations as well. Uh, more so, however, I see this being an unexpected sort of peace offering or acknowledgement of your feelings and your needs, much like the Queen of Pentacles here. If you are connecting with a Libra, this they're showing up, or an Earth sign, um, or even a Scorpio. So lots of different signs on the table. For your partner, unexpectedly, there's some sort of message that they could be bringing to you or you could be bringing to them. Perhaps this is the revelation of some mistruths. Perhaps they decide to tell you what's been going on or you approach them and say, hey, I know what, what's been going on here with you. Um, either way, there is the potential for some difficult conversations that will in turn result in some clarity. This is also really fast moving energy, a lot of movement here. So it could be that uh, maybe some of you are in long distance relationships. It could also indicate a physical move, your partner moving to a new location. Um, but there's generally some sort of message that you have for them or that they have for you this month that will illuminate some of what's been going on in the past. Your advice for this month is the High Priestess, which is absolutely beautiful energy for Pisces. You guys have such a strong intuition and the High Priestess is exactly that. She listens to her deepest emotions to her subconscious, and she she takes a back seat. Um, and not, not just passively, she's actively watching the people around her and the, the decisions that they're making. She's taking note of all of the things that are happening, and she's adding that to her mental list. She doesn't give too much away because she's collecting evidence. She's collecting um, I'll stick with that. She's collecting evidence so that she can then make a decision moving forward about what she would like to accept into her realm and into her sphere. So you are being asked within this relationship to kind of pull back a little and to take stock of how this individual is attempting to connect with you. Follow your intuition. If you feel like they're lying, they probably are, definitely with these cards here, okay? Now, if you are in a relationship that is happy and healthy, this is more so about getting more in touch with yourself and, um, and honoring yourself, honoring your feelings is about self-care as well, okay? The advice for the person you are connecting with is the king of pentacles. So their focus right now might be more on work and building their kingdom, their legacy. Perhaps this is why they're long distance or why they aren't, uh, why there's a lot of travel required. This person is focused very much on building, building something stable, building solid foundations within their career. Um, and perhaps that's what's causing the rift for those of you who are experiencing a rift in the relationship. What's interesting is all of the pentacles we have. There's heavy earth energy here. There is a desire for stability. Um within the relationship. And you guys, you do see each other as equal matches. There's just, there's just some things here that, that need to be addressed and that perhaps need to be healed. 
All right, the outcome for this relationship is the Ace of Pentacles. This is all about new beginnings, planting seeds and nurturing them. New opportunities, new foundations with work, and a decision being made together to put the past in the past and to move forward. For those of you who are deciding to eliminate this person from your relate from your romantic sphere, this is talking about a new direction. And for the person you're connecting with, we have the judgment card. They, through all of the things that they are experiencing at this time, they are receiving their karma. They are receiving the results, the, the consequences of their actions. And if they've been great toward you, then consequences can be positive. But it looks like there's been some misdeeds for some of your partners, uh, for some of you Pisces and your partner. So know that karma is coming, be it positive or negative. Um, they will be held accountable for their action or whatever it is that they have done. Be Again, could be um, a positive consequence or a negative consequence. In any case, through all of this, whatever result they get from their actions will help them to elevate um, and to ascend more spiritually. Um, they, they will grow from these occurrences in this relationship with you. Um, I don't think you've seen the last of this person if, um, if you aren't currently with them. I'm not sure you've seen the last of them yet. Uh, but for those of you who are no longer with your partner, I think if, if, and when they do come back around, it will be with a greater sense of a greater sense of self and a greater sense of what they can and cannot put you through essentially, especially with that death card. It's about new beginnings. The energy holding you um, accountable or holding you together is the surrender card. And with this here, it's, it's asking you to allow the shifts to happen. Whatever's going on, whatever's ending, whatever is beginning, allow it to, to be so. This month is not a month of fighting against it or pushing back it's more a month of taking stock of what's happening again with the high priestess energy just taking a look at how people are acting and taking mental note surrendering to all that is so that you can then um, determine which action you're going to take moving forward with them for some of you this is just all about um, a new move a new um, a new way of relating with each other. And for some of you, it's completely, it's a relationship that has ended and therefore a new beginning in that way. Whatever your specific situation is, there is a need for healing and letting go of control. Now, that doesn't mean accepting less than you deserve. It just means accepting um, the way, accepting the fact that certain things have to fall away in order for you to invite the new. And if the new is already here, um, don't let the past keep you from enjoying the present and these new opportunities that are coming to you. All right, Pisces, I hope this resonated. Again, if it did not, please reach out and we can do something personally, figure out what's going on for you. Um, I would love to hear your commentary down below. And again, thank you so much for clicking on this video and subscribing. I will see you all in another video. Bye.